Okay, so here we are with the boat. And there is the 90 horsepower Evinrude. You can see it's nice and clean and shiny. Just the back of the boat. This is where you fill the gas. There's access under there. Battery trays under there. Battery for the motor, oil, little toolbox under there. There is a live well under there. This is what he said was sort of the bait live well. There's a casting chair. There's three in the front here. The uh, label says six persons or 900 pounds. This is the maximum according to the Coast Guard. A couple of fishing nets, three yellow life jackets, tackle box full of, or a toolbox full of line, two watertight boxes with um, accessories for safety stuff on the boat, storage, more storage on the other side, another chair, more storage still, that's the foot pedal for the trolling motor. And this is the trolling motor under here. It is a Minn Kota power drive, in case you want to do some checking on that. He called it SS Swampy Forest, the fourth boat he's had, so we'll uh, maybe take that off. Give it a new name or something. Uh, what else? There is the fish finder. It's a low rants X22. Probably be worth checking the internet to see what we can find out about that. So it has trim, battery voltage, gas gauge, RPM on the engine. Uh, it's got separate pumps for both bilges. The, they also have a uh, timer on the bilges to recycle the water to keep it fresh so that the fish don't die. Uh, it came with two high quality aluminum paddles, sweet ass yellow goggles for the driver, a Coleman cooler, uh, I took some pictures of this but this is the bag of fishing lures that it came with, and there's the five rods that it came with, two bait casters and three spin casters, um, pretty decent quality, not cheap stuff, I actually used to have this one, the mini version of the one I have at the cottage, so there you go, there's the boat. Friggin' massive.